Gold Refinery Process It might surprise you to know that gold jewelry isn't all pure gold. Because of this, a refiner must assess the material to calculate what percentage pure gold it is. Sometimes you want to make some extra money to refine your own gold or you may be a jeweler who wants to refine gold. There are multiple ways to refine gold on a small scale as long as you take appropriate safety measures. Have you ever wondered what happens to your jewelry after you sell it? Certainly, you get paid in most cash for gold operations. But what happens to the gold itself? What is it good for and why are people willing to pay for it in the first place? In this video, we will show you to step by step the refinery gold method and how they pure it. Stick with us till the end of the video to get to know the whole procedure. Without any further ado, let's get into it. Before getting into the procedure, we want you to take proper safety measures. Wear protective clothing that includes gloves, protective eyewears, a mask, a long sleeve shirt and long pants. Take gold alloys or jewelry of different gold quality then weigh it on a weighing balance. Add pure silver twice the weight of the gold alloy. Start by reducing the size of the gold into smaller, melt gold. Will help in the process of Aquaria Regia to make gold into the solution more quickly. Now ready to melt everything together in the crucible. Carefully put the crucible onto the furnace, the temperature in the furnace reaches up to 1400 degrees Celsius. Wait till it gets melted. Start the furnace fan so it will get melt in a short time. Put the melted gold alloy in the chlorine water and make it as thin as possible. The process gives 99% concentration of gold. To reach purity, the gold is refined further into the cornflakes. It is then washed with a chemical called aqua regia, which turned it into liquid and dried it into sand. You know gold sand is the purest form of gold you can get. Then add nitric acid in the gold alloy steel container to start the chemical reaction. Be careful guys, it's no joke. Put the sealed container onto the furnace to increase the chemical reaction. Now wait for the chemical reaction to complete. That means wait till the time red smoke turns into white smoke. Then that means the reaction is completed. When melted into the crucible, the gold sand turns into the particles or grains. The grain is the final product of refinery process. Then they start the manufacturing. Pour out the melted gold particles into the chlorine water. To remove the acid contamination from gold particles, wash it more than 10 times with water. After this, put the washed gold particles in a crucible again, wash it and pour out the water. Again, put the crucible onto furnace to melt the gold particles. Now take out the crucible very carefully and cast it. You can cast it into the stripe that is one method we called minted. You make stripe of gold and cut it into different shapes. You can cut it into the shapes of bar, coin or anything you want in different sizes. The other method you can do is called molding. You add the melted gold grains into any mold and pass it through the machine twice and then you open the lid you have your desired molded shape. It can be a little casted bar or coin. And look, that's how to extract the 24 karat gold successfully from alloy. Now again, weigh it on the weighing balance. Let's test the purity of the gold in a gold testing machine. You can clearly see the results, it is pure gold. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you want to watch more amazing videos like this, then don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Thanks for watching.